Hey guys, Rivers here with Tech Connect, and today I want to do a video with my favorite gadgets from 2018. These are all the things I've been using over the year that I found out are really good. Some of them are electronics, some of them are just gadgets, some of them are inventions. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, we've got this guy right here, and it may look like suntan lotion, but it's actually a flask. So you can stick your favorite alcohol right inside of here pour it all in there like that, and then you can take it out to a concert or just walking down the street or wherever you want to have it. It's got a uh, watertight gasket seal on the top here, so I've actually tested this and it does work. Then just add it to your favorite beverage, like so. And this is quite big, so you could add quite a few of these uh, if you wanted to make quite a few drinks with this or upgrade a uh, Coke to a rum and Coke, something like that. And mmm. Yeah, that's good. Little orange juice and vodka screwdriver is pretty good. Let's have a little more of that. Next up is one of my favorites. It's this guy right here. It's actually a little game system and it plays old Nintendo games. Um, it's got everything that you can think of on here just about except for a couple ones that are missing, but it's got Mario, Contra, uh, Galaga, all the ones that are my favorite from back in the days. In fact, it's got 168 games on here. So this thing is actually pretty awesome. I've been enjoying it and it's got a rechargeable battery built right in. Um, you can actually put it output to an old analog TV set if you want to. Um, but yeah, we've got Contra, lots of games, lots of entertainment, pretty good on battery life. And I think it's actually even faster than the old Nintendo system. So you don't get that slowdown ever. I'm pretty happy with it. So keeping with the gaming theme, this guy right here is the Super NES Classic, and this guy has been hours and hours of fun. Uh, my brother came in from out of town, we used to play Street Fighter 2 uh, all the time as kids for hundreds of hours, and so we had a rematch, and I'd actually been practicing, so I uh, did pretty good and smoked him a whole bunch of times. It was a lot of hours of fun though, and a lot of hours of revenge, more importantly. So highly recommend one of these. These guys are not very much money, maybe around $60. Just plugs right into HDMI. You get two controllers with it. Uh, definitely money well spent if you used to like the old Super NES. Now, this guy has actually been out for three years. This is the Nvidia Shield, but it's so good. I use it a lot now. I actually have one of these on each of my TVs in the house. Uh, it's the ultimate media player, basically, and also a decent gaming system for cheap. So I had to throw it in here just because it's so good. Still working good, it's been updated more than almost any other Android device out there. It's running Android 8.0 right now, and it's got 4K, uh, HDR, everything. It's awesome, I highly recommend one of these guys. Moving on, let's move to phones. So for my Android phone, I actually use the OnePlus 6. This guy is a very solid Android phone. Uh, a lot of cool things work on this that don't work on other phones. For example, you can use the Pixel 3 software, like the Pixel 3 camera on this guy, so you can get those ultra low light photos that look really good. Uh, it's just a solid phone, very light, good on battery, just a solid all around Android phone. So I love the OnePlus 6, but they're actually sold completely out of these, and now they only have the OnePlus 6T, which is even better. It's got an even smaller notch, even more screen to body ratio, so it's really the way to go and it doesn't cost a lot more. And these are actually some of the best priced Android phones in the top of the line market. So I love the Android phone, but my daily driver is probably the iPhone S Max. This guy is awesome. It's got a sweet camera. The software is really the key why I'm liking the iPhone so much. I mean, it's got the most software, especially for video editing and image editing, uh, like ProCam, ProMovie. Um, you can take really good videos with it. In fact, I shot another video of it on Facebook and put it up. Uh, the thing has amazing battery life too. Like I shot the whole Facebook video, 14 minute live video, and it went down like 4% on battery life. I've had phones go like half down on battery life when you use uh, Facebook live streaming. So this phone is awesome. Probably go with the Galaxy S10 as soon as it comes out. But for right now I'm using the iPhone and I love it as well. It's just so stable. And there are a few drawbacks to iPhone that uh, Android's better at, like for example, the assistant uh, voice to text is way better on Android, but this phone is good for video and audio and um, image editing and stuff like that, so I'm pretty happy with it as well. Next up, we have one of my favorite gadgets of 2018, and that is actually this case for the iPad. This is an iPad Pro. I actually had it on the earlier iPad before that. I have like three of these cases. It's so nice to have this, this variable angle. So if you wanna watch a movie laying down and you wanna angle it like this, you can, or you can open it up like a laptop, use it this way. You've got shortcut keys up here at the top. 
I mean, you can even control like the brightness and stuff on it. it. It does a good job. It's a Bluetooth keyboard, so no connection is actually made. It just wirelessly connects to it. There's a slight lag from when you start typing the first time to typing. So like the first letter or two you type, sometimes it won't go, and then it, it knows it's connected, and then it'll type zero lag after that. So I love this thing. I did a whole review on it, but I thought I'd mention it because it's one of my favorite cases. I just love having this case, and then of course you can always take it out. Uh, and use it as a tablet as well, and it provides lots of protection. So, so love this case, and this makes it really nice for using one of the hottest things in 2018, and that is editing video on your iPad. So to edit, I use this app called Luma Fusion. This app is sweet for editing. Uh, most of the other apps, they don't let you do overlays on top, and that would be where you're like, say I'm talking, and then I'm showing close-ups of things that I'm doing on the screen, and it would interrupt the talking if you did it. So on here, you can do overlays. You can just overlay video on top of video on top of video. You can do multiple audio tracks. Uh, you can keyframe, there's transitions. Uh, it's a fully functional editing program. I mean, it's not anywhere near as fancy as Premiere or Final Cut, but it gets the job done on the iPad. It's fast. And it's fairly powerful. Oh, you can even like speed up, slow down, and reverse video on here. So it does pretty much everything you need. I think it's like 20 bucks, but it is so worth it. I mean, if you think about it, Final Cut Pro is like, I don't know, it's like $300. Premiere doesn't even let you buy it outright anymore. You have to pay, I pay like $40 a month for Premiere and Photoshop and all that. So for $20, I mean, this is so awesome. And this is one of the trends that we're seeing in 2018 uh, using an iPad or an iPhone uh, for video editing, and it's good quality editing. So I highly recommend LumaFusion, and I highly recommend this case to do your editing as well. That brings us back to the phone. You can definitely use the iPhone 10, 10s, 10 Max for video shooting and editing. And so really all you're gonna need on that is a phone, a tripod, decent audio, and that's gonna take us to this guy right here. This is a lav mic for your iPhone or your Android phone or even your regular still camera. It just runs with a cord, and this guy actually comes with an extension cord, comes with the lav mic, everything you need, um, and I use it actually all the time to shoot videos when I wanna go lightweight, like when I went to a hotel for a month for my job. I could just bring the phone and this lav mic and a little bit of lights and a tripod, a mini tripod, and I had everything I needed to make a good video. But it works awesome uh, to get great audio quality from further away, and I highly recommend that. And then a little light like this guy goes a long way. You know, you can just set this guy on a table or something like that to get a little extra light on your face, and this will make all the difference between like totally amateur video and halfway decent or even pro looking video. And I like this light so much, I actually bought the bigger brother of it which is this guy right here, and this thing is insanely bright. So you could use it to light like a whole hotel room or something like that. Um, and it, this one actually has color adjustments too, so you can go like, you know, if you wanna make it more warm yellow light or you wanna make it more white, like that 5500 Kelvin light, which a lot of studio lights are standard. But this thing is really sweet too, but all you really need is this guy. And I'll have links to all these in the video description down below, by the way, this guy is cool. I mean, oh yeah, you can even pull this little back piece off here. It just clamps onto there and that mounts on the top of your camera, but you can pull this off, set it over anywhere. You know, you could use some sticky tape, mount it to the wall, whatever you need. This guy's super versatile. So I also wanted to show cool inventions that I discovered this year. And as a field service engineer, I use a lot of different tools. And this is one of the coolest inventions that I've seen this year. This guy is a regular ratchet that just ratchets like normal here, but then you can also turn and it will ratchet. So you can twist it and it will ratchet. Either way you turn, it's gonna ratchet the same way. So just flip the switch up here on top, rotates the other way. Turn it either way and it's rotating the same direction when you turn this. So this is really nice when you get those tight spaces. You can't even ratchet because it's going like this far. Then you can just twist it. And it comes in handy so many times. I love this guy, so I thought I would mention it on the review. Another one of my favorite things from 2018 is dash cams and i never did a review on my channel but i use one in my car and it comes in handy all the time this guy is made by yi i think it's yi something like that it's just a a really inexpensive dash cam i think this guy's like 40 or 50 dollars right now 
But the key with this one is it actually does 60 frames per second video. A lot of them only do 30 frames per second in 1080p. But I figure if you get in an accident, you're gonna wanna go frame by frame through that and see exactly what happened. And 60 frames per second is so much better than going 30 frames per second. And this guy actually has really good quality. Um, I'm really happy with it. It has a little button on the back here where you can just hit that and it'll just save one minute section of video and it goes back about 30 seconds and forward about 30 seconds. That way it's easy to find the video later. But I've used this quite a bit. Um, like I saw a big wreck on the freeway in front of me one day. I got, uh, I was going along and it just rained like dumping rain and I were going under this underpass and there was like a huge lake under the underpass, like a foot deep. And I see these cars up there, they're going 65 and they hit the puddle and it spun them around and then the car behind them came in and hit that puddle and it was just crazy. And I got it all on my dash cam, but things like that, it's so worth it. Or, you know, maybe an accident, a hit and run. This guy is the way to go and it's so cheap. There's no reason not to do it. So I wanted to mention a dash cam like this Y uh, one here. There's a lot of other good ones too, but this is one I found that has really good image quality even at night. Next up, this guy is also I've had for years. But just this year, I got a new antenna for it. I was using one of those little flexible wall antennas and it wasn't getting a lot of channels. It'd only get like one or two channels depending on how I had the antenna move. So I could, you know, sometimes stuff wouldn't record and I could move it and record it on different channels. But I got a new big antenna and this guy gets like, I don't know, 25 channels, local over the air channels. So it's like an insane amount of free television. Basically, I pay $5 a month for the DVR, but you could use it for free also. So, but $5 a month to me is worth it for basically unlimited free television. So, highly recommend the Tableau DVR, and I'm gonna try to do some reviews on some other DVRs coming out soon too. So this is my new video editing laptop, and just for travel laptop, it's a little bigger, a little heavier, but it gets the job done. It's got an i7 quad-core processor in it, a uh, really nice screen. You've actually got uh, touchscreen capabilities on here too. It actually has the S Pen built right into it. So you can just uh, tap things right here on the screen. It'll let you scroll. Um, I like the screen on it a lot. You can also flip it over like a tablet if you want to. So you could actually go like this. Yeah, it's, it could be used as a tablet. Also, you could just set it like this and watch a movie or something like that. You know, set it on a table flat like this. Um, it's an awesome little laptop and it's pretty fast at video editing too. It definitely keeps up. But the main reason that I recommend this guy is it comes with a 256 gigabyte SSD, which I think is a bit small, especially for video editing. But the cool thing is you can take it out. It's an M.2 drive and it can take either serial ATA M.2 or NVMe M.2. And those serial ATA drives are super cheap. I mean, like 130 bucks I've seen them for now. So I've upgraded this one to a terabyte. Uh, I put it in an NVMe uh, Samsung which is even on sale now too, but it's upgradable and it's upgradable with either type and that's kind of new. So that's why I highly recommend this guy. Okay, this is actually one of my most used gadgets. It's a little Bluetooth earbud. You just pop it in and you go. I mean, it is so small and travel size. That way I can listen to podcasts while I'm also listening to the world around me. If people are trying to talk to me, I got my other ear free for that. And this guy's good for about three to five hours of podcast. It works out really well. And the coolest thing about this guy is it only costs about 15 to 17 bucks. So it's like if you lose it or send it in the water, send it through the wash, it's, you know, no big loss. Just buy another one. I've, I sent this through the wash before. It actually survived, still worked, but the battery life was only like, you know, 20 minutes after I went through the wash for some reason. So I just ordered another one. I mean, it's the same price as a pair of earbuds. So highly recommend one of these guys. This is a little stand for your phone. It works out great because, you know, I just throw it in my travel bag whenever I'm on an airplane. I've already got it there. I don't have to worry about forgetting it. And then you can just watch your movies and stuff while you're traveling. And it's really nice to have it set up for you there and not have to sit there and hold the thing the whole trip long. Um, you can set it either way like this. You can even stick a tablet in it if you want to, but it works really nice. I like this little uh, little bamboo stand a lot. I've showed these in videos before also. They're, they're super helpful. Okay, and last but not least, I wanted to show this guy right here. This is a 360 camera. And if you know my channel at all, you know I've done a lot of 360 video camera reviews. And this guy is the best one I've ever used. It's really awesome. Video quality is great. Picture quality is great. Low light is great. 
and it, the software is like the best I've used. You can use the video and it will like stabilize the video for you. So if it's moving all around, it knows how it is in 3D space. And even if you're moving a camera around, it'll be pointing at your face and you can adjust the angle you view too. So you've seen a lot of famous YouTubers. You probably don't even know they're using them, but like Casey Neistat, a lot of people hold it on a selfie stick. And even if you move it over here, you can adjust the angle. Or if you're holding it out the window, you can get something as it drives by. This guy is awesome. I actually use it on Google Maps a lot. I uh, put photos on there and then any 360 videos get like top placement on there. So I've got a lot of uh, pictures on there with like, you know, 7,000 views in like a week and stuff like that. And that's because I put the 360 picture on there. Now this guy is kind of iPhone centric. It will work with Android, but it's got this little plug right in here. So you can actually plug it into your iPhone and then go around with it like right in the top here and just take pictures and have it right here. It's geared towards iPhone, but you can also use it with a uh, Bluetooth linking it up with a remote control on an Android phone as well. So uh, there's actually a higher end version of this called the Insta360X and it's got a nicer camera. I think it's got five or six K, better low light, just really high quality. And I really want to get that one just how I'm judging how good this one is. But if you want a 360 camera, one of the best ones out right now, get this Insta360. It's so good. All right, guys, these are all the gadgets that are my favorite from 2018. I've used all of them and I use them heavily because I like them so much and I wanted to share my favorites with you. So I'll have links to where you can get all of these in the video description down below. And if you have some gadgets that you know of that are awesome or things that you want to see coming up in the future, add a comment down in the description down below. I'll keep an eye out for it, maybe review it. Thanks again for watching. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and as always, aloha. Oh, one last thing I forgot to mention. This right back here is one of my favorite gadgets for 2018. It's a Samsung QLED 75-inch uh, TV. It's got HDR. It's really nice picture quality, uh, probably right up there with OLED. And I've got the whole thing wired onto the wall so you don't have any wires coming out of it. Uh, in back, there's an NVIDIA Shield TV powering it and then Tableau DVR. So all very inexpensive for monthly bills and great 4K quality as well. Uh, I'll probably do a whole video on just this setup alone in another video. Let me know if you want to see that video. Uh, thanks again for watching, and as always, aloha.